How you guys? And welcome to another deep conversation with your girl, Sean. I hope you are doing well on this evening. Happy Monday to you all. I hope you all had a good day on today. And if you did, I hope it gets better throughout the week, okay? So y'all already know we are here for some love and marriage, Huntsville, massive baby. But before we get too deep in the conversation, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, go ahead and like the video for me, okay? So, I want to definitely shout out to Miss Dana Rose for breaking this, which I feel like we all had a question mark, question mark, question mark behind this whole scene. But shout out to Dana Rose. She was on the case, and here we are. So, you already know that the first uh, episode of Love Marriage Huntsville for this second half of season four we were all scratching our head and like this just don't seem right about Letitia and Marceau losing a friend it just don't seem genuine it don't seem authentic it just ain't coming together and y'all you know y'all remember we talked about it and when I did my live and I was like y'all I don't want to seem like that girl and just not sympathetic to what's going on but I'm like it just ain't just don't seem seem right you know especially for you to be able to go on and com continue to shoot the scene for the remaining of the day next day and but speaking of remaining of the day in the scene when you receive the information you were able to be shady at dinner towards the Whitlow so to me in my personal opinion I'm thinking like if you really lost a best friend on your ride into coming in to do a scene because you know you have to work and you receive some devastating news, I'm not filming. I'm not filming to the point of it'll be like this is taking me out. I can't, cons you know, console my situation. I can't get control of the situation. I'm going to need a moment. I'm going to have to tap out for today. If I feel like for dinner, if I feel like it, I will, but it's, I don't know. And Dr. Francis would have to say, y'all, they suffered a loss. She's taking Tisha and, and Marcel having a hard time right now. They would not be joining us tonight, but we hope that they can do it in the morning. That's it. I've lost a friend. Let me tell you how. It was hard. You know, and even in this very moment, it made a year in July. There are times where I'm just like, I'm crying for no reason. And then we have another loss that I had back in July of this year. So I'm like, I've lost two close people in the month of July, July of last year, July of this year. So I know what that's like. And one of them was a dear friend, you know, and I'm not going to film and be shady, Marceau, by throwing shots. So anyway, come to find out that the friend died in March of this year. And that scene, that episode was filmed back in May. So Dana Rose was on the case and she went and did her investigative skills. And baby, I'm here for it. And she went and found that they were... The lady had already passed away back in March. The lady passed away, God rest her soul, back in March. All of them did a tribute on Instagram when it happened. So here we are now in May when this was possibly filmed, allegedly, let's say this, and now they're acting like it just happened when it probably happened a few couple of months ago so are we shocked surprised appalled by the situation of course i answer is no and they're not good actors and if they thought that they was going to be able to pull this over our eyes if they thought that they was going to be able to have us to be like so empathetic and sympathetic with them it did not work because it didn't even come off genuine on tv baby you were squeezing your eyes so tight to make a tear fall it was to the point where it was almost cringy to watch because it seems like you didn't even want marceau to even touch you um so i just don't think that it really was that and again to use um someone's death as a way to get out 
of having your feet put to the fire as a way to not be held accountable for certain things is really low. Now, this is all allegedly, this is just um, what we buy, what they're putting the pieces together and we're having our opinion about it. But when it happened, when we looked at the first episode, we called it and I was like, this is thing. This ain't and no, this just don't seem right. It nothing about it was genuine. Nothing about it was and, and let me say this, this has absolutely nothing to do because we don't like the Scots. If you've been following me and you know I y'all know how I feel about Marceau. I think Marceau is good for TV. I like the Scots. I think they're I I've always said that. So i it's not that I'm a Let's ride for the, you know, I'm so against the skies and so pro male that I'm acting this way. No, it was simply because it just did not connect. It did not work. It was not authentic. It was not genuine. It was not real at the end of the day. And you can tell and it's been floating around and we even touched on a little bit in our life that they probably got into a deep heated argument and now they needed something to come up with. And if that was the case, I think y'all should have definitely just said, I'm sick. I ain't feeling well. I got the bubble guts. I can't get out the toilet. We've been stopping every five minutes. That's why I'm so late. Like, to me, I feel like it's way other excuses to use than to use the death of a friend that happened months ago. You could have used and said anything. I got a migraine. My hair hurt too bad. The light bothered me, child. Ooh, the light. Anything. Anything. I started my cycle, y'all. Oh, I'm cramping too bad. It's way too many excuses that y'all could have given versus using the back of a dead woman. Come on, y'all. Y'all didn't have to stand on the back of a woman who's deceased and who passed away back in March. Y'all didn't have to do that. And word on the curb is that all of y'all did this back in March. And now you guys have taken away or removed that post so y'all timeline can add up and kimmy again i said i was not feeling you this season and i know it's looking like you're going to have some ailments in this season you're going through for you to be the logical one we look for you to be the neutral one we look for you to be the one who will set the people straight and let's be right is right and for you to kind of go along with this as well and remove it allegedly to me isn't cool L sit in it just like you had that when y'all did the uh, reunion and you said yep we talk about male that is true sit in and be like yeah this girl died back in in march I, when they said the friend died i didn't know who they was talking about at the time and just stand in it but don't remove the video because now you're adding on to the mess and the lies and they want to be so quick to say people lying about their marriage and don't want them to win but tisha and marceau i don't even think y'all want y'all self to win either at this point stop putting it off on other people and look at y'all selves y'all could have came up with any excuse in the world but y'all used the back of a deceased woman that allegedly passed away back in march and this was taking this was done allegedly in may but there you have it that's all i got you guys are we shocked are we surprised no but y'all can drop down in the comments and let me know if y'all are shocked some may be shocked but as for me myself and i it's a whole no. It's a no. All right, you guys. That's all I got. Y'all drop that down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's tell me what y'all think. And I'll see you guys. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.